Council well, Unions, you 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 give me evidence. Give me Rotten. evidence. Do you believe Paul wrote it? You know how a debate works. You give a claim, yes. I ask for evidence. Claim. You made a claim, you said Paul did not write Hebrews. That's your claim. Well, no, unfortunately, no, it's not. Because unfortunately, no, it's not. I'll tell you why it's not. Who else made that claim? Anyone? No, I'm I know you are, but you're like, well, like you're literally saying you didn't. Go, go back to the point. Okay. Okay. If you listen, yeah, I'll, you I'll were bringing evidence there. of what Paul said, and you brought a letter from Paul, which, according to church history, isn't written by Paul. Give me that evidence. Give me that evidence. Give me the church which history church? that doesn't write anything that it. says it. Yeah, just Google it. Why, why well, try and be we'll like? We'll see what church. Yeah. Um, find me definitively. Say. Yeah. Can you remind me who says? Who says? Okay, I won't find Hebrews written by Paul. Do you believe it is? Can There's you no find me your evidence it. first? Do you believe it's written by Paul? Find, I, find I don't, I, I don't find any evidence, it's 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 evidence that You're it's not. You're it as if it's Paul. I do don't find Paul? evidence that it's not. Do That's my answer. Is? Do you believe it is? Well, I don't find evidence that it do is not. It is, then? I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I can look for something, but I'm not going to be. Dis I'm not going to be distracted because so you you're wrong. Evidence. You're in error. Well, you're trying, trying to teach Christianity. To the we don't know who the Excellent. Is. I'm still trying to answer your first well, question. No, wait, 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 he doesn't want me to answer it. Is it me? Is anyone else witnessing this? Watching. Excellent. Okay. I'm so pleased. Right, you stop speaking while you use your Google. 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 I'm not. I'm giving you, you the Bible. You I'm giving you the Holy no, Spirit. The Holy Spirit no, authored the Bible. The Holy Spirit doesn't exist. Okay. Please don't do that. That's I'm embarrassing. That's Spirit embarrassing. It's in the Quran. It doesn't exist. The Holy Spirit Forget is in the, the Quran. Quran. Forget the, the Quran. Spirit I'd love to. I'd love then. to. No, I can't. It's taking people to hell. No, it won't help me. It'll never help me. Do you want me to call who says that's written by Paul? Yes, please. All right. So this is coming No, no, no. You wanted some evidence. Go for it. The 300 AD, you say this in writing about and quoting the very early 100 AD Clement of Alexandria, 150 to 250 AD he writes. He, Clement, says that the epistle to Hebrews, see, the epistle to Hebrews is the work of Paul and that he's written to the Hebrews in the Hebrew language. But like Luke translated it carefully and published it for the Greeks and hence the same style of expression is found in the epistle to Hebrews in the Acts written by Luke. You say this church history six fourteen. So so okay. So what you're saying is from you say this is quote. What's, what's you gave church on. history oh, as right, your right, evidence, right. and he's just giving you church right. history. I'm just giving church history. First thing, first thing. If you want to bring the church fathers to the table, we can. No, you did. Case, you, did. No you did. Okay. You did. You did. You did. Please stop misrepresenting. This embarrassing. I asked him. You said to me church history. No, you didn't. Just rewind. Anyone? Press rewind. He said church history. What discipline are we involved in here? That he no, 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 no. So if you listen to the that? question, okay, I'll make it easy for you. We're doing higher criticism. Yes. <laughs> Why are we doing higher criticism? <laughs> Why are we doing... You can't something. even stick to what you said a second ago. Do you know what higher criticism is? Do you know what, like, uh, no, red herrings and straw men are? Do you know? Do you? If you, do you know or not? He's doing a hashim. He doesn't know I mean, what he's, he's saying. saying. <laughs> do you know what higher criticism is? Because you just said, why are we talking about higher criticism? Like, you know Galatians what higher criticism five, is? Four, do, you know what higher criticism right. is? do you know what higher criticism is? Do you know what higher criticism is? I mean, first of all, the gospel. You don't know what the conversation is about because you want to hear it again. Anyway, know, do you know what higher criticism is? I heard you change right. topics. Well, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. My mics are all on. I've no, I've no clue. Proof, I'm so supposed to be streaming. I just walked in. Oh, no. Jude. So can you refute, you say this is claimed, that Clement uh, 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 okay, said okay, that okay, the epistle of Paul uh, is written... Okay, there's two things I can do. Oh, there's two things I can do. There's that two things I can do. One, I can demonstrate you say this is not a reliable source of information. I can do that, no problem. Okay. Second thing... That I doesn't mean that claim itself is unreliable. Well, if he's, if he's reliable, unreliable, how can his claim it's be? No, it's not because Hadith science. Your own scholars like Ibn Abbas who claims that the whole earth is <laughs> underneath an <laughs> elephant. Don't worry about Ibn Abbas. Don't worry about Islam. I'll say it to you again. I'll say the two things I'm going to do to you. He's already said forget the Quran, that's the sound bite. Boom. So you do believe that the earth is literally a top a elephant. Where the Paul was preaching to Jesus. Do you believe in that? Is this this wrong? Are you telling me? I'll say it again to you. The conversation is about whether Paul was preaching something to the There we go. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you're in Christ. There you go. That's his evidence. 
I've already demonstrated you proved your on camera we've got it oh, okay. I'll say to you again. No, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new I'll, I'll creation. Say, I'll say to you again. I'll prove to you right now you don't know what you're talking about. The conversation If you observe the law, you're heard on two occasions, you don't know what you're talking about. And this is the third time I'll do it today. Yeah, yeah, saying I don't know what I'm talking about. First thing, you know what higher criticism is? You don't even understand why we're talking what, about what's this. The point, what, yeah, what's yeah. the point of it? You should shh, chill, adults. The claim is. That's funny because to me, you don't know what you're talking about. Go away, babe. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. I read you say this is claiming. Troll someone else. Go and troll someone else. Why are you quoting you say yeah, you even your brother's you telling you. Why are you quoting you say yes? Because it's early, it's early in the most quotes. What's that got to do with high criticism? And the question was, can you show where in early is that early in the early Let me put you out your misery. Let me put you out your misery. Where somebody says, that's one. Let me put you out your misery. Hebrews wasn't written by Paul. Can you show that in early Christians what they're like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all, he can, all he can do is insult. It's embarrassing. Higher criticism doesn't involve ad hominem. I'm just no, throwing it out there. Of course it doesn't. Well, he's going to call me a gnome. What are you talking about? I mean, but you are a gnome. There you go. There you go. He's insulting I mean, I mean, Terry I mean, Pratchett I mean, as well. Double standards of Christians. We know that. I, mean, I didn't I mean, hear him say it. There's no double standard in that. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. What ad hominem did I use? You just said, I'm going to show these. what these Christians are like. How's that ad hominem? Because you're inferring that Christian, these Christians are something other than like genuine or understanding. You know what I was well, well, it's about, quite about arrogant, but that's just my your opinion. Poor you can't, I, I, you I, I, can't I, I, help I, I, your I, I, own I, I, arrogance. I can't help your poor pride. Pride and arrogance. That is also ad hoc. That's also ad hoc. Are you mad? Yeah, I know. I know. Have you been let out for the day? Is it medication time? I'm not at home. I'm asking you a question. What argument? You literally just did that. What argument? Darren, you have misrepresented what I've said. You've ignored the scripture. Please do. Please. Okay. First thing, we're dealing with him. No, no. First thing, we're dealing with me and Billy. No, we're not. You deal with all of you. Deal with all of you. Who are you Let's expose him. Let's talk about John 17. Well, expose him first. Well, then do that first while well, I just let's don't give, don't care. Let's, 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 let's expose you first. No, no, let's go back to the topic. I've got a live let's stream to do, so if you could just ask. In Christ. In Christ. Neither Jew nor Gentile in Christ. That's the point. You claimed online. Let's write a list. Hamza, write a list. No, I don't want to write a list. I have things to do. How can I make my point? I know you're small-minded. Oh, OK, I'll say it again to you. If you be quiet, I'll expose you. Can we talk about John 17? Okay. Because you claimed online that oh John 73 proves to guy? that a father <laughs> alone is No, no, you're doing an excellent job of trying to inflame <laughs> people. Which excellent, point, well done. Which point of in Christ, there is neither... John, 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 John. In Christ, in Christ there's neither Jew nor Gentile. Yes, logic. they are everywhere. More than so two point... Two you, billion. Third time is when I go to John 73. Let's demonstrate. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll go to that. We'll go to that. We'll yeah, go to that. Let's go to John 73 because you've already. No, we're not going to go to it yet, though. You run away oh, from what? Oh, okay. So it? let's go to what John 73 right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. First thing. Let's do that. We're not going to ignore. Someone needs to hold him to an account. I'm going to hijack the conversation. You literally just run away from case. No, no. Okay. Okay. Can you just shut up for five minutes? Run away from case. Okay. Let's explain. Let's go. So you want to train us? Let's explain it. You want to go back? I know you want to get out the ring. I know you want to get out the ring. You want to attack K. We know what ring. What ring? We know that. We know that. Stop it. You're on the floor. You're on the floor. Come in, come on in. There's a teacher coming, everyone. Everyone, there's a teacher coming. He's out of bed again, nurse. Okay. You that? You but now quiet? you want to be sick. No, I can't. You, you, you just had you a massive childish moment. You Are you? Speak. Do you go on like this in real life? No. It's evident that you are ignorant beyond How belief. Do you know? I'm not even let me speak. Because I can hear you mocking you him in a high pitched women's. I'm not afraid. Why do you assume my motivation? I couldn't be afraid of you if I tried. Because I'd like a turn. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. In Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, male or female, slave or free. He's still speaking because he doesn't care. The truth is not in him. So, the point of this verse is not to say there are no more Jews, there are no more Gentiles, or there are no more male or females, because obviously we're all not... We're not talking about transgenderism either. Also, he says there's no neither slave nor free, but yet there were slaves and there were free people. But in Christ, he says, meaning hierarchically, 
there is now no distinction between a Jew and a Gentile in Christ, between a slave and a free man in Christ, between a male and a female in Christ. So we don't have to submit ourselves by means of gender or former religion. Christians. Not Jews. Anywho, in Christ is the part that he cannot reconcile because he wants the argument to be that Paul is telling Jews, don't be Jews anymore. No, he agrees with me. Billy, do you agree with you that? asked me about all I'm Jews. So you've changed. I'm listening to oh, her. I'm just still paying for the crowd. I'm listening, I'm listening, 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 listening to well, her. Is all the guys talking to the crowd? I'm talking to the people I'm speaking to. I'm talking to you. I'm waiting to speak about Johnson's head. Anyway, I gave the reputation. He can't answer it. I'm waiting to speak about Johnson's head. I'm not listening to you. This is a big joke to you. But we're standing between life and death. I'm still running away from Johnson's head. Look at him ignoring Billy. I know. Like, oh. You're just being very egotistical. Do you have any Very respect for him just by means of his age? Yeah, you yeah. He's talking to you so, so and your head is away and you're mocking. Yes, not to Billy, away from Billy. I'm saying what just now. Think? What did he just say? Okay. What did he just he's say? To you. He said we stand between life and death. You didn't hear him because you were too busy over that way. So, the so, camera's picked also, it right. up. Too busy listening to him shouting at me. Yeah, you're right. You were so, yeah, because you look like you take on board a lot of stuff. Well, you know why? Because you don't shout We're talking about John 74. You have to shout with you guys. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. Can you be quiet for two minutes? I don't shut up for anybody. Can you be quiet for two minutes? 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 And your little online post. Can you be quiet for two minutes? Why don't you take your own advice and let him finish and then get have your time? I haven't had a chance. I just was silent. Before you're I ranting, said that, he's ranting. Ranting. I'm, I'm sorry, doctor. I didn't realize your uh, <laughs> analytical you're skills you're there. You're gonna let me speak. Oh. You're gonna you let haven't speak. stopped. If I let him mate. carry on, can I speak afterwards? That's what I just suggested. Yes. So maybe yeah. something went into his ears. Right. Can I speak? Keep oh. Billy out of it. No, oh, Billy, you started this. You started the fight. You didn't go nowhere. The conversation John 73, as I've said before. Right, so can I talk again? Yeah, so Stay on topic. Right, 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 right. Would you First like some more water, Billy? You're Johnny. speaking to John at the moment. Would you like right. some water? Right. More so like let's cold water. Cold water? It's on John yes, it's fine. Okay. No, it's not your agenda. Okay, so it's not on John 73. So he's running away from his own time. Right, right, right. He claims can you let me speak? little short video let me speak? Okay. that John 73 did let him speak, bro. What's the point speak? in allowing him to go way off topic, off topic again? Oh, he's got off topic. On TikTok. Ah, yeah, Wasn't he 73? The the for John so loved, uh, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son. The world, meaning neither Jew nor Gentile. That is John 17. Oh, no, sorry, the only true God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's that got to do with our conversation? Nothing. Let him finish and you might find out. Well, no, you know we're not talking about that. keep running away from it. I do, yeah. Don't want to experience right, right. Christians so let me deal with this You wanted yeah. evidence that the law let is obsolete. Deal, let me deal with this conversation you don't first. want to experience Christians, though. The bunk is stupid. Are you shaking? Oh you made your stupid let TikTok let video. Relax. You relax. might as well just relax. be shaking your ass. I'm here all day. Because it means nothing anyway. Listen, I, I promise you. I promise you right now. You, you might as well have done a TikTok video. I promise video you right now. Shaking your ass. I promise that you right now. That would have been more popular than any other video. I promise you right now. You've not made any video of substance at all. I promise you. I promise you right now. I'll deal with and this bullshit and then I'll deal with your 17. Which one? He's got it. He has it. Shut up, bro. Because I can rinse all your talk. I can rinse all your talk. Do you want to talk? Right. So, so the conversation between you and her, right? Right. So the conversation between me and Kate. What? Go on. The, no, sorry. Let's let's rewind because it's all on camera from the beginning, so no problem. So the conversation started with Billy. Keep me out of it. And, and the question. No. He doesn't exactly. respect what you're so saying, the Billy. I want to hear the gospel. You started the fight. You started the fight. Billy, you started the fight. The good news, the Billy. glad tidings. Well, then you want to throw in the towel, don't you? Look at the difference in like gravitas. My meat is to do the will. Of him that Billy, you me for someone who keeps saying people can't shut up, let him finish what he's saying. Which he gave me to do. Okay. And when Jesus was on the cross, he said, It is finished. Amen. Not I am finished. It is finished. Amen. The one who has given him to do to put away sin what does that have to do by with the sacrifice of himself. Why is Kate so and excited? you know the truth. Because right I'm saved. Up here, but you don't want it in your heart. All right, all right. I've, I've said all I'm going to say. Good man, good man. I preach the right, gospel right, right, that right, God right, so right. loved the world that he gave his only begotten Amen. Son Amen. that whosoever believeth in him you are, should not perish but have everlasting life. Boom! Boom! He said to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, said this. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. 
Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. And that's what needs to happen to you. Oh, amen. And everyone who's not right. That's what I'm preaching, and I've preached it for years. Almost. And I don't take back a word of what I've said to you. You're a hell-deserving sinner. Amen. Tell him. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now, he's going. He said that's his final oh, okay. word. Are you well, up? Billy, just for the audience of the crowds, right? Preach, preach, preach. Me and Billy started yeah. this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah. the question is, hell or salvation? You want to critique his, uh, okay. what he wants shush. to say. Uh, okay. yeah. I mean, at least the conversation I, I had with Billy was about the uh, reliability Jews. of Paul. And I asked Billy a question. I said to Billy, was Paul teaching Jews they no longer need to observe the laws of Moses? And, Paul, and, Billy's, response was, and Billy's response was, of course he was. Of course he was. So, Billy, do you take that back or no. do you stand by it? No. You stand by it. He wasn't stand teaching by all it. Jews. Good man. Good man. Good man. All right, good man. Then Kay came along. Yep. Without and, hearing and I asked that, Kay sorry. the same question. Yeah. And she said, no, he wasn't. Not all Jews is what I meant. So Kay I'm had afraid. a dispute with Billy. On no, the I tradition. didn't. I didn't. Then Kay tried to differentiate Christian Jews from Jews. Obviously, because Paul does. Do Christian Jews observe the law? No. Right, so they're not Jews. They okay. are Jews. They're you don't right. know well, what a the, bloodline is. Why would you tell people? You think you come oh, from okay. Ishmael, but okay. you don't know what a bloodline is. Okay, no, I speak. don't want to, no. You're not because you're speak. misrepresenting you my position. Tell me your position. My position is this. Whomever Paul writes to in the seven churches are Christians. Christian. Did you hear what I said? You did yes. it, did you? <laughs> you said Paul was teaching to people in Galatians who were Christians. No, I didn't mention Galatians well, this saying, time. Yeah. I said all the seven churches, we can right. presuppose and we know because he, he tells them they are already in Christ, whether they started off as a Jew or started off as a Gentile. So whomever is like identifies as it were or is a Jew within those audiences is not a Sabbath keeping, non poor keeping. They may be because at the beginning there were some discrepancies as to do we keep all of this stuff yes, and do we right. adopt all the love? Do we keep all this stuff and bring it in graft all these Gentiles? But what Paul and what the Holy Spirit is saying is that if now you are in Christ, you try to keep the law, not for its own, you can keep it, but if you do it as a way to circumvent Christ's atonement, you're embarrassing. You will be severed from Christ, which is far more serious. And you, you know, maybe you can be brought back to repentance so and done the way. Now that's the Bible. That's your position. Oh, geez. yeah. It's too uh, hot for this, uh, mate. Uh, uh, okay. So, just so I understand, do you need to tell people who are not observing the law they don't need to observe the law? There's no, not about people. Why would people be doing it? Why would it be people Where now? To? Would you be speaking? Jews who have come to Christ. Who are following the law? If, no, it's, it's very specific. If they keep it in order to circumvent Christ's that's atonement. It does. And then, right, you hit, you are severed from the law. The if you are circumcised, it says it. I'll explain to you. So what you, this is, this is another, <laughs> John, John, look, look, if you want me to read you on 17. Galatians 5, 4. It's from the book he's we trying to use to attack. Smash you. What age group is this going out to? Wait, I'm, trying to I'm, here. Here. Say the things I'm going to annihilate the Caesar. And annihilate! We've got smashing and annihilating. Is anyone over 12? But I'm not going to do it. Sorry, no offence to any 11 year olds. I'm not going to do it if you don't yeah. shut up. Whoa! Oh, wait, will you sleep tonight? You will you sleep yes. tonight? Yes. Oh, shut up. I will not make debate you. Me. You're not going to debate. Oh, so then I'm going to debate. 17.3, if you're going to debate one more time, yes. You're going to debate one more time, yes. Okay, yes. Then, Ron. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm what? not going to waste my time Ron. with you. Ron, if you want to run. No, don't listen to me, my friend. Okay, I'll say it again to you, John. John, John, John. You want to run, innit? John, 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 John. Sorry I'm late, everybody, everybody but I've been I'm listening to, to Darren talking absolute twaddle. So everybody knows I'm not running. It'll be on so I'm condition. melting. He just shuts his mouth right yeah. now. You can see he's being really that's polite. That's the weather's not, not getting to him at all. Make a shout, I don't care. I'm okay to go first. I'm English. Watch that water, babe. Keep your mouth. I'll give you your water. Don't talk. If you shut your mouth, I'll give you your water. Shut your mouth. Are you going to shut your mouth? Why are you being aggressive? Why is the language so like. Speak to your Christian friend about being aggressive. You're not in a pub. Speak to your Christian. What are you going to do? Talk to your Christian friend about being aggressive. Are you going to stop? Should I? All I can hear is you. Stop this double standard. All I can hear is you. I do have double standards. I know you're a liar. I do have double You've got double standards. You're a Christian. Of course, you're a Christian. The Bible tells me that those in the family. The Bible tells tells me that those in the family of faith, we should give uh, special consideration. But I can't hear him because all I can hear is this, white noise. 
So, well, oh, this, 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 now, Kay took us to the book of Hebrews, yes? Uh, Galatians. Yeah, Hebrews first, and then you right. started questioning Paul, now, so we'll no, go for Galatians. So you brought Hebrews to the table. I did say if, Galatians also, but I said there's another verse, I can't remember it, and it is Galatians 5.4. No, but you brought the book of Hebrews. I did initially, yes, you're correct. Are, are you and then you, def it? well, no, but you deflected. Do you believe? I'm going to say the Holy Spirit authored the entire Bible, so we don't worry about who had the pen. Let's just stick with a verse, because it's in the Bible and it's valid for me. Oh, that doesn't fit in with your argument. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate, because I'm such a charitable guy. Are and you? I'll come to this park often. I'll demolish his 17.3 first, uh -huh. and then I'll demolish your reliability of the New Testament. No Excellent. problem. Excellent. I don't mind. Excellent. Take a ticket. Yeah, I'll take that, take that. Take a yeah. ticket. Yeah. You're an embarrassment. No I've watched you before. You just made the claim. All of the Bible is inspired by the Holy Spirit, so yeah. I'll deal with that claim. No sure. But you won't do it now. You want to start oh, being no, macho no, no. and posturing with John. Paul first. Excellent. Go Mash your Paul first. Then mash my Paul? What, you mean the one that Allah very first? Not mash yeah, I'm going to mash I'm going to mash your reliability. You're not going to mash, 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 you know, mash anything because you're not no, in East okay. London in a pub. You don't know anything about Paul. You don't know anything about Watch me saunter. I'm going to educate you. You're embarrassed. I'm coming back in when you are finished with him because you're going to smash him. No, you said him first. He can't even get the order of events in sequence. Now let's deal with him Christ. You heard testing the reliability of the New Testament. Uh, mate, mate, where are you going? Can we just make that the cameras ain't there for a minute? Let's stay our point. Listen to Let's me, you point. absolute tard. Can you hear what I'm saying? Do you speak turn English? Birds with a Listen, I'll no. say it again to you. Anyway, so what he's doing <laughs> is saying he's bye gonna bye smash it. Bye bye, bye, bye Ken. Bye bye, bye, bye Ken. Are you gonna deal with it or not? I'm gonna deal with what I want to deal with, which is what you first which is brought what? Let's up. Let's deal with it then. In Christ, I you were going. because you said you can't keep up with your own twaddle. You said you're going to smash him first, and you didn't. Anyone who's got a rewind button, please, for the sake of my sanity. He's so loud that there's no way nobody heard it. I don't. I couldn't even care at this stage. Everybody witnessed that I said I said I will give him his debate if he shuts up while I deal with you. I know, and then after that, after that, when you were mad. Bruv, when you are mashing fam, hear what fam, when you are mashing him up. What I didn't say was I'll deal with him first. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So deal with you first. Excellent. Do it then. Jeez. Yeah, right. So let's deal with you first. Please, God. Any time you like, mate. Can you feel the temperature? Oh, he's running now. Are you aware? Just pay attention to the crowd. This is obnoxious behaviour. I'm not even going to give you honour. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're not going to honour your words. This guy did not say to me he was going to school. Mash. Mash me apparently. Already been he not done it. I've with the Bible for at least 30 today. minutes. In you Christ, neither do not do that. This is how Christians so think they win. Because you lost the Come somewhere quieter. Oi, Darren. Darren, come somewhere quieter. Come somewhere quieter. Because then you don't oh, have to Darren. be playing it up oh, like a no, big no, man. You're the, one, you're, you're the one talking to the crowd. Because oh, you're, you're not listening to a word. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to him, and you're In Jesus, to there is neither me, Jew the nor Gentile. In me. Jesus, <laughs> answer it. Okay. Just answer You're it. the one talking to the crowd. Oh. Anyway, right. This was from 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know why it's taking 20 minutes. He said he's going to come to me first. Allegedly, he said he's going to come to me first. But thanks for your input. That's really clarified it. That's what I'm saying. Christian, because your guy cannot do it. Christians, Christians are reading your scripture to respect your scripture, please. Is that John 73? So, this is Galatians 3, 5, 10. 4. All oh. who rely on observing the law are under a curse, for it is written. Curse is everyone who Amen. does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Yes. Clearly, no one is justified before God by the law, because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the, on the contrary, the man who does these Work. things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law mm -hmm. by becoming a curse us, for the us. Christian. Yep. It, one second. For it is written. Hot, Rory. Well, Paul's a Jew. Anyway, he's a Christian. He's a Jew. He's a Jewish Christian. He's a Jew. Jews and ethnicity. You don't know what he's talking about. He's a Jew. <laughs> You're an idiot. How about that? He's, he's a, a Jew. Jewish Christian. He's a Jew. You think he hasn't he accepted Christ? Saul was a Jew. So just so I understand, was uh. Paul observing the Torah before his visit on when the When he was to Saul, you mean? On the he road wasn't to Paul then. I know he was Saul of Tarsus. Well then, Saul was a Jew. Was he practicing? Saul. Was he practicing? 
uh, the Mosaic Law before he went on the road to No Damascus. one called Paul with that appearance yeah. was, was appearing was that. He, there was, was a man Paul called Madame. Saul. Said Saul of Tarsus. Okay. So was Saul now is your question? Yes, yes, Saul was. was he yes. On the road to yes. So he was. Big in the Jewish game. His, wow. Right. And then after his visitation on the road to Damascus. Yes, he became Paul. He gave up the Mosaic Law. He uh, no, he began refining it to uh, conform his thoughts to the image of Christ Did he give up the by the power law? of the Holy Spirit. Did he Spirit? keep the Sabbath after that? Did he keep the dietary laws after that? Did no. He no, he didn't. So we know he gave up the law as a Jew. He didn't yes. give it up. It was fulfilled in Christ. Uh, uh, okay. I'm quoting right, you the Bible. Please don't yeah, laugh. Don't You're an embarrassment. I'm going to quote you the Bible. I'm going to quote you your disciples. But I'm quoting you it. Why do you rely on it when you quote it, but when I quote it, it's no refutation? Oh, please, do you understand how this works? Yes, sure. I'm thinking. What are you Christ thinking, Bill? Yeah, yeah, he is smart. I know. But there's people, like people watching who might learn something. There's people watching who might learn something. Billy's on my That's side. That's not Billy a compliment. Oh, I'm on your side. You, do you agree with me? So I'm not on Just your lying side, for the sake of lying. He's actually a doctor. You're on the devil's side. Amen. He's on camera. He said, I asked him that same question. But he's talking about within the context. When I walked along, you didn't give me the context. You just said Jews. You don't I see said, a distinction, I, I, but now you're drawing the distinction okay. between Saul and Paul. Well, oh, okay. So you're drawing the distinction you pretended not to be oh, able to see. Oh, get to the point, mate. Now get to the point. Get to the point. Did Paul, the point. Did Paul, That's up. Did Paul teach? The question was a very simple one. To the churches. Paul teach Jews they no longer need to observe. The ones in the churches he wrote to, did yes. Yeah, yeah, he didn't and, write to the, the uh, yes. Sanhedrin. And the he didn't yes. tell the Pharisees the not to. Yes. No, the Some answer is nuanced. There wasn't one type of Jew. There were many types He of didn't Jews. tell the Jews Pharisees don't, don't observe the law. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Oh I'm glad you think it's funny. I mean, I've already schooled the You're going to burn. Can I hear yourself? I can hear myself. Yes. I was saying to you not hear you. I've not heard yourself at all. No one is justified before God by the law. Because the righteous will live by faith. What book is it? Galatians? So who's he writing to? Let's just double check your knowledge. Uh, the foolish Galatians. Okay. And who are they? Are they Jews? A uh, mixture, I'm assuming. Uh, they're Christians, aren't they? All of them are Christians. Gentiles. Well, why would you be telling Christians not to follow the law? Because in the earliest iterations of the seven churches, they were misunderstanding. There were false teachers floating about. You, you, you know of a couple. So, yeah, there were people coming in and they just didn't know because there was no... Um, like uniformity of tradition at that point is it's the earliest inception. Um, right, right. So, so they're thinking, so oh, we have to, hang on a minute, we have to keep our dietary stuff, but these Gentiles coming in and being Christian, do we have to make them Jewish thingies or not? So is Paul speaking to those Jews coming to Christianity? Paul is adamant, this is my answer, Paul is adamant that any Jewish Christians and Gentile Christians need, so the, the Gentile Christians, for example, they must not be circumcised if it is just blind adherence to the law because that the will make them lose their salvation, no, no, which is really no, important. Don't worry about the Gentiles. So clearly the Jews are already circumcised. Don't, don't so anyway, mindless, okay, for the Jews, mindless adherence to the law will not save them and it will sever them. These Jewish Christians. I just answered you. These Jewish Christians. You have just answered it. I mean, you're just showing back to Many times. Yeah, yeah. If they keep the law for anything other than don't you understand that? I'll say it again to you. Just, just I got question. you. Good. I got you good, seven good, times good. ago. Were these Jews within the churches carrying on keeping the Mosaic no, law? Is Paul telling them not to? That's not? That's not? No. Great. On you go. Okay, good. Were these Christians, Jewish Christians, before they became Christians, observing Jews? Yeah. Right. So when they became Christians... Well, some of them might not have been. Some so of them might have been the diaspora. No, like, but they were part of the Jews. By bloodline, yeah. You were part of the Mosaic law. Yeah, by bloodline. They were under the covenant, not, yeah. Not, no, because in the altars we see that Jews go away. Were they under the covenant? I don't know. Oh, right, right, so you don't know. Fair enough. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, because I don't know them individually. Some were out of no, no, it. I'm asking yeah, yeah. Question. Some okay. were okay. considered okay, let me, let me Gentiles oh, okay. by strict Jews. Before Christianity, yep. these Jews who became Christians, yep. were they part of the uh, law? Most likely. 
yes, the answer is. No, the answer is not yes. It, whether they practiced it. That, so now you're going with the bloodline, not the observances no, 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 that you did no, 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 earlier. No, no, no. Great, great, great. It's just no, no, the no, definition no, no. of terms. There are Christians today who say they're Christians and accept gay marriage, for example. What's no, that got? No, 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 no. The there were people Muslims born of alcohol. the 12 tribes who were not observant. Whether observing Jews is a different story, but the point is this. But that's what you asked me. No, no. I'm talking about for their salvation, these Jews, yeah, before Jesus. Most likely, but some, there's a chance some of them were. Oh, what was that mean they were salvation? just born Jewish. Before Jesus, what does that mean? Some salvation? of them may have been agnostic. No, what was their means? Not how what they Ata did. Atonement under the under the law. Right, so they were under the, the law. The ones who were under the law, yeah. All of them were under the law. Go right? for it, go okay, for it, Dale. I ain't got time. No, no, no. Let's, let's establish His name was wanted. Bob. He was uh, no, about Bob. five foot two. I don't know, I just I'm said I don't know them individually. I'm not asking you for individuals. I'm saying to you, were Jews, before Jesus, uh, required to observe the law? My, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, if they were religiously right. adherent, right. yes, they then were. The same Jews, when they became Christians, they were told by Paul they don't no longer need to observe the law. Because of what I quoted you about a week ago, yeah. So you agree with me? By, now, by giving a new covenant, the first... So yeah. Can I finish this? By giving a new covenant... The first, he renders the first old, and what is old will soon become aged yep. and obsolete for us, for us in Christ. Right, so we agree now, finally, that Paul was teaching Jews who came Jewish to Christians, Christianity, excellent. They didn't yep. need to keep yeah, that's law. all you had to right. say in the first place, yeah. Oh. Well, Skiddly okay. widdly. Right. So, so, that, so we've established that now. Right, and what's your point? What did the disciples of Jesus say about this? Uh, there was some discussion initially. What did they say? Well, there was some discussion. What there was some... Dis you tell, you tell me, you tell me, tell me. No, you scripture. Tell me. Do you know? Get on with your point. Okay. You wanted to talk. Uh, uh, okay. Do so it. I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain where... Don't explain, was just quote no, no, it. No, 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 no. When I was being... I have to... Listen, I need oh, to get cold room. drink. I need to Fair sit enough, in the shade. So please do... No, no, no. Please do quote the scripture you've had ready all week. All week? Oh, shut up, mate, please. It's For the past just... six years. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So oh, that's how long you've been so far away. OK, well, quote it then. Oh, this is, quote this is, it then. This is just one right, right. You're not a teacher. Quote so, it right. then. Oh, OK, so Paul... Excellent, he's going to quote it. He's asked by the... Told by the disciples of Jesus. Yep. These zealous Jews, zealous for the law in Jerusalem, I've heard yep. that you've been teaching mm -hmm. that Jews coming to Christ don't need to keep yes, the law. Yes, yes, yes. To show you're not doing that, Go with this, these men the council, and yeah. take the Nazarite vow. Yeah. What's the Nazarite vow? I'm not going to answer any questions till you actually tell me what the, like, what the thing was and the outcome of it. Are you talking about when he was summoned to a council? Oh, OK, the Council of Jerusalem. Are you speaking Acts about 21, that? Right. So when he, Paul, Paul comes, right? Obviously, we have the, there's two questions going on here. First thing is, Paul, are you telling Jews they don't need to keep the law? Second thing going on, what do we do with Gentiles? Who've come to the Christ. So it's the opposite way. It's the opposite so way. So Hebrews around. 6, well, second, 6 second, and Galatians 5 will no, answer Hebrews. those. Don't worry about Hebrews. I will about worry about Hebrews. The Holy who, Spirit we don't know who offered. Wrote that. Okay. So anyway. You don't know who wrote the Quran. Yeah, you don't know who wrote the Quran. Who wrote the Quran? He does. No, he don't. Who, who which which one? Don't be silly. So now we've come to a position. You're willing to believe that Allah gave the Quran, but not that. Which book? Which Quran? So the question I was asking Billy. So the question I was asking Billy. After burning or before. So the question I was asking Billy is this. How do you reconcile Paul teaching something against the teachings of the disciples of Jesus? Okay. They were not teaching otherwise. They said these other Jews are querying what you're saying. If you want to disagree, go and take this vow. Go to this council. You just told me that's what they you said. You didn't hear them. That's, I repeat to Did he not just oh, say some... They, not the shocked, disciples came to him and said, the Jews, these other Jews... I'll, I'll explain to you. I explain to you? Oh, God. Yes, please. Okay. Now, Any time you I, like. I, I, when I, when I Why don't we just go to What do you think I'm standing I'll for? Go, for you to explain to your point. No, I'm calling it verbatim. All right. That's so, just for you, mate. You can't quote this. So, so anyway. Go right. well, John 64, right. mate. Right. So <laughs> this is what I said. So this is what I'm saying No, no, I heard what you said. No, you just misquoted what I said. So you didn't hear? Oh, you're not listening. I don't know which one it is. I am listening to you. So you're saying the disciples came and said, 
We've heard you're saying this and we want you to do this. I didn't say that either. So you're misquoting me again. I I'm gave you. Do you want me to say it again? That's so you know what I said. The colloquialism, a paraphrasing. No, no, it's yes, adding it your is. Own Don't facts. try and teach me English. It's just adding, why not? Because paraphrasing is exactly what I said. Why can't I teach because you I'm giving you a correct definition and you're embarrassing oh, yourself. No, 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 no. I'll say it again to you. Paraphrasing means to take the essence of a quote and give it in your own words. This gentleman knows. Well, this is my English wait. teacher over here. Your brother's first telling you shush. Thing. Okay, first thing. Do you know what shush means? Yeah. Oh, What's that got to do with you? Okay, first thing. First yes, thing. I am. First thing. You can't hold me. It's not a real Quran. Ali Dawa told me it's in English. It's not real. Yeah, it's not Shush, nah. Yeah. I'd love to. Okay, listen. Oh, I just was walking in. Okay, listen. Understand, understand, understand something. You Why didn't you quote the scripture if you wanted? If you were worried about I, 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 I verbatim? Said it to you. I said it again Why to you. didn't you quote it? You put your Bible away at that point. Can I say it again? So you paraphrased and I paraphrased back. Excellent. Go for it. Right. Hold that a minute. Yes, I do. No, I don't want you to teach me anything, mate. And they informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. We're reading from that. That's him. You're in Act, you said Acts 21, the Council of Jerusalem. What you're doing now. What you're doing now is obfuscating. No, that's not Acts 21. You don't care what Paul, what they're saying to Paul. You don't care what the disciples are saying to Paul. Answer me, answer me. Because a minute ago you said, I'm reading the scripture, don't talk over the scripture. And I'm reading the scripture and here you are reading over it. A minute ago, I said there's two things. I said a minute ago, there's two things that needed to be dealt with. <laughs> One thing was Paul's preaching to Jews, and the second thing is what to do with Gentile converts to Christianity. I said there was two matters. You're quoting the second matter. Do Gentiles? So do you have to choose which thing? order in which okay. I refute you? I haven't got many more uh, one seconds, uh, okay. Dow. Well, well, if you shut up, I could get on then. Right. <laughs> so basically, you shut up again. you're right. pathetic. You're, well you're embarrassing. Not very well you're embarrassing. <laughs> He's not well mannered. The truth isn't in it. He's got no interest in integrity or being genuine. Why are you involved? 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 Why are so don't around. keep skirting around, hey, just get to hey, your hey, point. Hey, Thank hey, you, hey, here's the difference. When he shouts, I tell him to shut up. Excellent. Yeah, okay. It was and him. And you tell your oh, people no. to shut up. You didn't tell anybody to shut up. He brought his sword. That's you, why. You shut up as well. Aye, bro. Yeah, yeah, good. Aye, right, bro. That's how you shut up. Yeah, you shut up, bro. Please tell your own people to shut up. You're spitting, mate. You're spitting, mate. I don't know to shut up. I don't know the real. He just told you, though. Seriously. Seriously. Yo, where's the man? What are we talking about? Do you know what goes on in this park? Do you want to just sort him out, mate. Okay. Okay. He's offering him out. You, you don't think so? Why am I shutting your boy up? I'm going to win an arrow. Why am I shutting my boy up? He's not going to attack anyone. Well, I'm going to shut him up. He's not going to attack anyone. He's not going to attack anyone. That's what I need to say. Okay, I'll say it again to you. You don't have to. You know what? Don't go to the face and you shut him up. He's acting in an aggressive manner. Oh, is it like an offence thing? What is? Well, you do that to someone. Yeah, of course it is. Words are not violence. I'm sorry? You Words. swear to somebody, you're asking for something. He didn't swear up. Here you're in the way. How could he swear up? I didn't notice I didn't notice because my no, testosterone no, 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 levels are anyway, 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 anyway. I didn't screw up. Anyway, anyway, anyway. 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 You're threatened by nothing. Anyway. anyway. You're literally threatened by nothing. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Nothing. You were literally threatened by nothing. So you're threatened by nothing. I will in a minute, Bill. I just want to hear if he's actually got. No, you said you're threatened by nothing. Okay, I'm going to give five minutes. I'm not running anywhere. I'm going to saunter over there in about five minutes because my Jesus wanted me to come here and speak about him and I can't get you can't quote the Bible you want to like paraphrase it you're the one who does paraphrasing excellent when you say we are you schizophrenic Brother, 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 brother. Yeah, hello, nice, nice. Well, Apparently he's one good, but he always says we. He's trying to drive us all weird, into some it? sort of like a... Hello, always says we, but he's one good. Can we get to that? Can we get the spirit in the Quran? I feel like I'm going to have a mind. I feel uh, We're not going to speak about anything. No, 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 not because it's... Oh, yeah, because it's scared. I don't think you know, it's not quite fair. Sorry, Z. You're literally scared. He's running on ease. You're people I've got no time for. Not just people I've got no time for. Ob obnoxious oh, people. You, you would literally get destroyed if you don't. Obnoxious people, I've got no time. Excellent. You made your, you made your very so macho you made point. Claim. 
This oh, guy that came there, he moved me up on John 73. He did. John. And he John, has John. not done it at all. He has, he has done it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I know you are, babe. I'm just trying what he's doing. I'm trying to just get expose him to his little diet. His little diet. I haven't I'm eaten today. I feel quite sick. They're them. not your people. They're just They're your kids. <laughs> Come on. Right. Let's do well, it. Well, you tell you, but I guarantee you. Look at the Muslim. Look at you the Muslim. said it, but people. when he was using you so as a hold me back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, Let's argue about the important stuff. I mean, I thought it's about religion, not what happened. Let's get back to the point. Right. So. The, uh, the Council of Jerusalem, there were two points to be discussed. What's the Bible first, reference, please? First thing is what you just quoted. Is what but you stopped me quoting second, it. One second. So, and, and it's amazing, right? You know what's really what's amazing? I'll tell you what's amazing. Well, you what's amazing that Jesus what's died for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what's really amazing is that the question that the disciples answered is the opposite of what Paul was teaching. And the opposite they of what answered? Saying. He didn't ask them anything. They approached him. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm listening, that's your problem! Oh, yeah, right. So, the question you're responding to is that Jews becoming Christians don't need to keep the law. The question that the disciples were discussing at the Council of Jerusalem... So you've asked me one question, I've responded. Now you're bringing a different question no, and no, making no. it as if I it's my misunderstanding. I'm explaining what? Acts 21, isn't it? No, no, it is. It's Acts 15, but he doesn't know anything uh, uh, about okay, okay. That's okay. the thing. So that's here's, why he gets so school here's, into here's the thing, right? So I might make a TikTok and exposure. So the disciples of Jesus were asked a question. John, Peter, James, what do we do about these Gentile Christians? These, these people who are coming to follow Jesus, coming to follow the Christ, but they're not Jews, they're, they're, they're Gentiles. Do they have to keep the observe the laws of Moses? Now, no. this realistically should be, it is, it should be a non-question if the idea of following the It Christ would be you if you gave it 100 years of Christianity. Oh, okay. So basically, the answer to that question by the disciples of Jesus, well... I wonder why Mohammed didn't keep the yeah, No. Yeah, why the, didn't the, 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 the answer was no. I wonder why. The answer was Camel no, and the reason given Camel Camel is that because I they, weren't, they, they weren't under, under the law. Mosaic law. <laughs> they weren't under Mosaic <laughs> law, but Who, the, the non-Hide laws, which the, the non, which the Gentiles kept around Israel, is the laws that they should observe. So The Noahide laws? What, you mean after the flood? You don't understand anyway, anyway, what you're anyway, talking about. The, the non-Jews, the, non the Gentiles... Before the law, there was sin in the world, but no the one is accountable. Moses, are you actually making sense In the time of... Oh, don't worry. When are you going to stop? No one worries. In the time but we'd of love Moses, it if you could I'm land this plane. I'd love it if you just shut up and let me speak. That's all you that's say. That's, that's all you can say. You've been talking, talking for ages. I've had a chat with him. I've got a bottle of water. I've been to the shop and come back. Shut up. You just want a monologue. That's Darren, you're misrepresenting you reality. Why don't you go you're over there? So then that's not me. You let me speak. Well, tell him to shut up. The camera. I already did just because speak. Tell him again. Monologue. Who are you, you got no to tell me what to do? Well, how am I going to speak? I'm talking. not your dim, no, me, am me I? You you're the nothing. dim. Right. So I've already told you if you want to stop Let's go again from the top, everyone. What? we have to. All together now. Right, come on. Do you want to just leave Do it for the love of Jesus. Do it. Do you want to leave this guy to his own? No. Twanky in this scenario. Listen, Twanky. Yes, I'd love to. I gave you five minutes. All he's doing is money. Yeah, I gave you five minutes. I gave you five minutes. Well, if you shut up for five minutes. I have. You know what, Hamza? You know what, Hamza? You have to do this. Oh yes, I have. Oh yes, I have. Okay, at this point. Answer I see it. It's called humour. Try googling it because you're about to Google something. I'll finish my point without you. Excellent. You do that, babe. And you've already run from me. We've got on You'll finish your life without me as well. Who's number four? Anyone? But yeah, That's you're like obnoxious yourself. Never That's funny, isn't it? He's number obnoxious four. twat, but he don't yeah, want to make me. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone own this uh, mic, number four? That's you? No? You? No, you. It says number four on it. John, that's mine. John, that's mine. That's sushi. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Umbrella no, no, Academy. No, 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 no. Hey, no. Yeah, I know, it's one of your brothers. No, it's not a dollar, mate. That's your one. Anyway, this one, I've got you. That's, that's you. you. That's mine. That's 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 right. That's right. Shall I, can I leave it with a Muslim? Bro, could I leave that with you? It's definitely someone from that direction. Sorry for, like, I'm not running for every mic. I ain't got the energy to run. It's really hot. I just, he's not answering. Like, I've given him the exegesis. If anyone wants to know, you can come over to my channel or JC's and ask and I'll give you the full lowdown, but it is too long. Which one's number four? Enjoy your day. You said you're
you haven't done it, you can't do it. Get hands on this one. Get hands on this one, okay? Get hands on this one. Hamza, it's this one. But go, go ahead and be obnoxious for your little girl. Yeah, just keep this one, this one. This one. I am a Muslim. So, so finally, this is not a wrap up as well. We're going to continue then. Okay. Allah, why? Brother, brother, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. No, 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 just relax. Okay, so the picture being painted there was I'm the emotional. Okay. Let me just explain how the fire nonsense was wrong twice. Okay, first thing, I asked, we talk about higher criticism. So we asked him what is higher criticism, he says why we talk about higher criticism. Well, he doesn't even know what higher criticism means. Now, what higher criticism is, it's the study of the authors behind the New Testament. So you're not looking for, for example, is this verse there, is that verse there. It's more to do with the fact that who's saying it, who is the author of this, who is the author of that. And the reason why higher criticism got brought to the table was because they tried to quote from the book of Hebrews as if Paul is saying this thing. Now, the book of Hebrews, according to Christian scholarship of higher criticism, is anonymous. You don't know who wrote it. So if you don't know who wrote it, you cannot say, I call my first witness, but I don't know who he is. It's ridiculous. And then try to bring that first witness, you don't know who he is, claiming he's somebody who you don't know who he is. So that's ridiculous. Second thing, he, when I'm testing the higher criticism, he brings um, Eusebius, um, quoting Clement Alexandria. That's the higher criticism. Higher criticism is who is the author of these letters? Now, I said I was going to get him to throw Eusebius under the bus and I'm going to do so. Okay, now, one of the guys that the Christians love to bring to the table when they're talking about crucifixion is a guy called Flavius Josephus. Now, Flavius Josephus was a Jewish historian that wrote about many things in the time of Jesus. He mentions the crucifixion, he mentions many things. Now, one of the church fathers who was a, a, a precursor to Eusebius complained about the writings of Flavius Josephus. He says, if Flavius Josephus is writing about the Christ, why is he not saying he's the Messiah? Why is he not talking about the resurrection? He was complaining about this. So one of the church fathers' origin is complaining that this, um, this Jewish historian is not picking up Jesus to this level of resurrection and such. Then what happens? When Eusebius gets hold of these letters, magically, Flavius Josephus is saying Jesus is more than a man. Magically, Jesus is all of a sudden now talking about, sorry, Flavius Josephus is now talking about a resurrection. So we know with empirical evidence that Eusebius forged the letters of Josephus to say what he wanted it to say. So to bring Eusebius as some witness for anything, the witness would be thrown out of court. So that's dealt with those two issues with him. Okay, now what I was I talking about? I started off with Billy, Billy Graham, nice guy. Um, I didn't realise he may have been a pigeon in the park. I wasn't sure. I asked him a simple question. Was, Jew, was Paul teaching Jews they no longer need to observe the law? And his response was, on camera, of course! Of course he was! Fine. So we don't need to debate this point. The next point is, if Paul teaches something contrary to the teachings of the disciples, you've got a problem. How do you reconcile it? Enter K. K comes. I ask her the same question I asked Billy Graham. Did Paul teach the Jews in all to keep the law? No. What? Billy says yes. K says no. Okay. K then goes on about Galatians and Jewish Christians and such. But we drag it out of her. That anyone who was a Jew before accepting the Christ was observing the law or should have been under the law. And Paul is telling that person, when he comes to the Christ, he no longer needs to keep that law. That's what he's saying. So this is now, and eventually Kay dragged out of her, she agrees. Fantastic. And now we come to Jerusalem, what's going on? So without Kay's paraphrasing, I'll say what happened. When Paul came to Jerusalem, the disciples of Jesus, James, Peter and John, they said, Jews here, who were zealous for the law, I've heard that you're teaching Jews they no longer need to keep the law. 
So the disciples of Jesus say what? The Jews here have heard you saying such and such a thing. Now we know that's not true. We know you didn't do that. Even though you did do that. We know you didn't do that. But just to show these people that you didn't do that and you're still under the law, go and take the vow, the Nazarite vow, that shows you're still under the law. And Paul goes to take the Nazarite vow. So here we have a problem. Clearly, the disciples of Jesus did not agree that the Jews should not be should should be away from the law now. Clearly, hence the, to show you're not doing this thing. Clearly, when there are should Gentiles keep the law? They said no, nah, Gentiles don't need to keep the law, but the Jews do. So the disciples talk opposite. So you've got Paul preaching something, you've got disciples teaching the opposite. You're being Paul reprimanded for teaching what he was teaching to demonstrate he wasn't teaching it. Now here you've got a bigger problem because Paul's supposed to have the Holy Spirit and the disciples of Jesus also apparently have the Holy Spirit. So what's going on here now? And there's an even bigger problem. I mean, the problem's like this, now it's gonna become a chasm because apparently according to Christian theology, the, um, the atonement, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ was supposed to be the end of blood sacrifices. It was supposed to be the end of sin sacrifices. No need for sacrificing animals anymore for the forgiveness of your sin. Jesus is the Lamb of God and he's died for your sins. Hmm. Well, why did the disciples of Jesus tell Paul to go sacrifice an animal for the forgiveness of his sin? For the Nazarite vow, if Jesus is the atonement. Why in the book of Ezekiel is God saying that when the third temple is rebuilt, it will have a place for animal sacrifice? So this doesn't just expose one thing, it exposes everything. And the main thing it exposes is Paul. And what's the problem with exposing Paul? Every denomination of Christianity needs Paul. Whether you're a Quaker, a Jehovah's Witness, a Mormon, a Catholic, a Presbyterian, a Methodist, Protestant, uh, whatever versions of Christianity is there, whatever version of Christianity and Orthodox, you all rely on Paul or the church fathers, and if you rely on the church fathers, they rely on Paul. Everybody relies on Paul, and if Paul is preaching something the disciples didn't teach, in fact, he's teaching the opposite, that means whatever Paul saw on the road to Damascus wasn't Jesus. The question that needs to be asked, what was it? I don't want to go